prime factorization of 1014 is to do the prime factorization first we should frame it in this way 1014 this is your step 1 next For this number, last digit four e one, so take two. First number one smaller than two, so take two numbers ten. When do we get ten in two table? Two fives ten. The other number one smaller than two, so take two numbers fourteen. Whenever you are taking two numbers, compulsory put zero. I repeat, whenever you are taking two numbers, compulsory put zero. at the start also we had taken two numbers but zero at the start does not matter even if i write here zero it does not matter so no need to write zero at the start next 14 when do we get 14 in two table two sevens 14 now here last digit seven not even so this is not divisible by two next prime number 3 to check divisibility by 3 for that we should add the digits what i mean is 5 plus 0 plus 7 we get 12 is 12 divisible by 3 yes so this number also divisible by 3 so take 3 here the first number 5 a number close to 5 in 3 table is 3 ones 3 5 minus 3, 2, 2 carried forward 20. When do we get 20? A number close to 20 in 3 table is 3, 6, 18. 20 minus 18, 2, 2 carried forward 27. When do we get 27 in 3 table? 3 nines, 27. Now here we have 169. Always remember, 13 square is 169. 13 into 13, 169. That is thirteen times thirteen is one sixty nine. Now here we have thirteen. Thirteen is a prime number, so thirteen ones thirteen. So we got one here. So the prime factorization of one zero one four is the product of these numbers. That is two into three into thirteen into thirteen. This is the prime factorization of one zero one four.